2017 Audi S4 First Drive For all its power and easy performance, the best thing about the last Audi S4 was its uncanny ability to act like a normal, but very high spec, A4 for most of its life. Then, when you needed or wanted a bit more speed or a bit more grip, you pushed the button or opened the tape and it became something else. It became a thing with more grip, more poise, more focus, and more gristle but the changeover between the two S4 characters was seamless. That doesn't seem to be the case with the new one. The latest, B9A4 has been well received and is probably the best mid-sized premium car out there, so that should have left the S4 a simple job to become the best warmed up premium mid-sizer. It hasn't quite happened like that. The spec sheet suggests the S4 should come out on top in the fight with the BMW 340i and the Mercedes AMG C43, but the numbers aren't everything. The engine seems impressive on paper. The all new EA 838 3.0 liter turbocharged V6 was jointly developed with Porsche, and it's closely related to Porsche's next V8, with which it will share non internal bits like the camshaft chain. The 60-degree V6 weighs 31 pounds less than the old S4 supercharged V6, and it's replete with variable valve timing and lift, centrally mounted fuel injectors, and both direct and indirect fuel injection. That gives a 354 horsepower at 5,400 to 6,400 revolutions per minute, up 6.5%, and 369 pound-feet of torque from 1,370 to 4,500 revolutions per minute. That gives it a peak 44 pounds to foot higher than the old one, spread across a band 600 revs broader. At 2,000 revolutions per minute, where drivers live every traffic light, it has another 74 pound-feet. That's enough motivation to move to 62 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds. There's a new all-wheel drive system that usually shoots 60% of the torque to the back but can ramp that up to 85% when it needs to, or it can swing it around to fire more than 70% to the front axle. The category benchmarks suggest turbocharged 3.0-liter gasoline sixes are the thing to have, with the Mercedes-AMG C43 using one, the 340i BMW having one, though it's straight and Maserati's Ghibli also using one. The oddball is Jaguar's Zs, which uses a supercharger. You know, like Audi just ditched. The S4 rumps all but the C43 on power, the 9-speed Benz has 362 horsepower. While it ties the Ghibli for torque, it again trails the Benz, by 15 pounds to foot, though its torque peak hits far earlier, the Benz waits until 2,000 revolutions per minute. Still, the S4 ties the Benz for the 0 to 62 mile per hour sprint and comfortably has the measure of the others, with the BMW and Jaguar both doing it in 5.1 seconds. There is one piece of technology in the S4 that muddies the waters for anybody trying to pin down what it's all about. This performance model doesn't use a dual clutch transmission anymore, and there isn't even the option of a manual gearbox. Instead, it uses an 8-speed automatic transmission and only an 8-speed automatic transmission from ZF. The S4 has always delivered its performance with understated looks, and Audi spent a lot of time and effort to create even more understatement here. The styling is little changed from the stock A4, only plastic pieces are touched, leaving the expensive metal stampings alone. It has the usual S-model matte alloy-looking mirror caps, a slightly tweaked single-frame grille with full metal slats, wider sills, and oval tailpipes. With its standard sports suspension, the S4 rides 0.9-inch lower than a normal A4.